So sometimes when we're working with polynomials, um, we cannot use synthetic division. So synthetic division, um, remember, can only be used when you are dividing by a first degree binomial. So like x plus 1 or x minus 3 or something like that. So um, let's just review um, basic long division that you learned a long time ago just with real numbers. So if I have 436 divided by 3, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, 3 goes into 436, right? <clears throat> and what we do is we ask ourselves, um, three, how, many time, how many threes are in the number 4? Well, there's only one, right? So we do one, and then remember you multiply this way. So this is going to be multiplication. Sorry, let me make that little multiplication sign. So 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, so you get that? So how I came up with the 1, and then I write it right under that first number. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract here. So I want to subtract that 3. So 4 minus 3 is positive 1. I bring down the next number, so I bring down the 3. So now we just repeat the process again. How many 3's are in 13? 3 times something has to be less than 13. So that's going to be 4. So 4 times 3 is 12. And again, I want to subtract all of this. So I'm going to subtract, or I'm going to add the negative of it, if you want to think of it like that. Add negative 12. So 13 plus negative 12 is positive 1. And I'm going to bring down this next number, 6. Now how, and repeat the process again. 3 times what is something less than 16? How many 3's are in the number 16? Well, that would be 5. 5 times 3 is 15. And remember, I'm going to add the negative of it or subtract it. And this is going to give me 1 left over. So my remainder is 1. So my answer would be 145 with 1 over 3. Because remember, you take your remainder and you put it over your divisor. Okay? So now that we reviewed how to do it with real numbers, let's look at a polynomial. So, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so let's take, um, I want to divide, um, oops, 2x squared minus 7x plus 4, all divided by x minus 2. So the way that we're going to set this up is we're going to say, okay, um, even though this is, we could, hopefully you're recognizing this going, oh, wait a second, why wouldn't you do, you know, synthetic division? Because this is, um, this right here is a first degree binomial, which is great, but um, sometimes what's in the denominator is not a first degree bi binomial. Say this was x squared minus 2 or, you know, x squared plus 3x minus 2 or something like that. So I just, we're just going to practice with an easy one here. So x minus 2, and we're going to divide that into... 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, just like we did before, is we're going to say, um, oh, but this time, sorry, all I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, I'm going to circle this guy in purple, because all I want to do is I want to look at the x term, or what's first. So I'm going to ask myself, okay, x times what is going to give me 2x squared, or how many x's are in 2x squared? So, um, another way to write that, let me write it over here. So what I'm going to ask myself is x times something equals 2x squared. That's an equal sign there. Okay, so how x times what is going to give me 2x squared? Well, that's going to be 2x, right? Because 2, or x times 2x is 2x squared. So that's what I'm going to multiply. That's going to be my first factor. So I'm going to have, or excuse me, my first number. So I'm going to have 2x. So just like before, I'm going to multiply this way, right? So 2x times x is going to give me 2x squared. But I have to multiply it by both things here this time. So 2x times negative 2. So this, this negative 2 just sort of rides along. You know, he's just along for the ride. Everything's going to focus on this x here, but don't forget this negative 2 because every time you multiply, every time you go across and multiply like this, um, this negative 2 is going to go along. So excuse me, um, 2x times negative 2 is going to give me negative 4x. Okay? So now, um, just like before, I want to subtract all this. So I think it's a good idea to put it all in parentheses because you want to subtract it. And this is how I read it. I say 2x minus 2x is 0. So those actually go away, right? And then I'm going to go again and I'm going to say, okay, negative 7x minus 
negative 4x. So what's going to happen to this minus and this negative 4? They're going to turn it into a plus, right? So really this becomes negative 7x plus 4x, which is going to give me negative 3x. And then I bring this 4 down and I repeat the process again, and it's a plus 4. That sign stays the same. Okay, so look at that carefully, make sure you understand where all those steps came from. And now we're going to repeat the process again. So I'll do this in yellow now. So what I'm going to say is, okay, oops, x, so I'm going to say x times something equals negative 3x. And you usually don't have to write this out off to the side, you're going to get pretty good at this. So obviously that's going to be negative 3, right? So we're going to put a negative, oops, sorry, a negative 3 up top. So now I'm going to just take this negative 3 and distribute it um, to this x minus 2. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Now what I need to do, so I'm going to put that in parentheses and I'm going to subtract it all. So negative 3 minus negative 3x, so that's going to turn into a plus right here, right, when you have two negative signs next to each other. So that's nice because those are going to cancel. And then I have 4 minus negative 6. So 4, or excuse me, 4 minus positive 6. So 4 minus 6, basically. And I'm going to get negative 2. So because I can no longer, I can't multiply negative 2 x times anything to get it to be negative 2, right? There's nothing. So, or as long as this degree is less than this degree, then you're done. So your answer to this problem right now is 2x minus 3 with remainder of negative 2 over x minus 2. So don't forget that guy's a remainder, okay? So my answer is, excuse me, here's my answer right here. Hold on. Here's my answer. So I put that right here, and then my remainder, here's my remainder, and don't forget you have to put it over your divisor right here. Okay, so let's try another one of those. I know this is probably pretty tough. So let's try, um, let's try 11x minus 2 plus 12x squared all over x plus 2. So hopefully you guys are looking at this going, whoa, 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 these aren't in order. So the first thing you want to do is you want to write them in order. So I'm going to write 12x squared. Make sure your signs um, stay together. So plus 11x minus 2 all divided by x plus 2. So when I set up my problem, I'm going to get x plus 2. And I'm going to write 12x squared plus 11x minus 2. So x, because remember, everything is going to focus on this x, really, okay? So x times what is 12x squared? Well, that's just going to be 12x. But remember, you have to distribute it to both things. So 12x times x is going to give me 12x squared like I wanted. And then 12x times positive 2 is going to give me plus 24x. Okay, we subtract it all, so make sure you subtract it, put it in parentheses if you need to. These guys go away. If, they don't, if these guys don't cancel, if the first two numbers don't cancel, then you did something wrong. So that's a good little sign to check for. And then we have 11 minus 24x. So 11 minus 24 is going to give me negative 13x. Bring this guy down, so minus 2. Keep that sign with it. Make sure that, neg that minus stays with it. And now we repeat the process again. So x times what is going to give me a 13, negative 13x? Well, that's negative 13, right? So minus 13. When I multiply, negative 13 times x, I'm going to get negative 13x. And negative 13 times positive 2 is going to give me negative 26. And if I put that in parentheses and I subtract everything, these guys nicely go away. 
and then be careful, negative 2 minus negative 26. So this negative and this uh, minus are going to turn into a positive, so I'm going to get positive 24. So my answer, I'll write my answer, is going to be 12x minus 13, so this guy equals, this pro original problem equals 12x minus 13 with the remainder of 24 over x plus 2. Because remember, this guy is a remainder. And that is your final answer. So now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try one on your own. So what if I give you um, a cubed plus 27 all divided by a plus 3. So don't be confused. Um, I could either, you know, we can write these as a cubed plus 27 divided by a plus 3. This is just a division written in linear form if it's all kind of in a straight line, and this is written in fraction form. So what I want you to do is I want you to stop the video and I want you to try this on your own and then um, turn it back on when you have an answer, okay? Okay, so one of the things that might have been a little more difficult for this one is that um, you, hopefully you recognized that some of your terms were missing. So there was no um, a squared term in here or a to the first power term. So you need to add those. Remember I talked about um, everything being in descending order. So if we start with a cubed, we have to go to a squared, a, and then um, the, the uh, constant term. So make sure if a term is missing, whether you're doing synthetic division or long division, it doesn't matter. You have to have, they have to be in descending order from the highest degree to the smallest degree, and there have to be zero terms in there if there's any term missing. So for any kind of division we do, that's really critical that you do that. Okay, so if you did that and you added all, you know, you added your zero terms, then look at my solution, and the final answer was simply, um, let me write this out, the final answer was a squared minus 3a, oops, goofy 3, plus 9, and that was the final answer, and there was no remainder, so there was no remainder, um, which means that, which you'll learn is that negative 3 happens to be a zero of this, um, of this polynomial. Okay.